Good afternoon, everyone. Nevada won a championship in hockey, of all things. The cost of living, the inflation rate has dropped significantly, half what it was last year, and the Southern Baptist met in New Orleans for their annual meeting. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. I was a Southern Baptist for a long time, the first 40 years of my life, really. I'm not anymore, and this is one of the reasons why. They met down there in New Orleans, and one of the big issues, if not the biggest issue facing them, was not the sexual abuse history that they're trying to grapple with, was not the precipitous decline in their numbers, losing millions of people in the last 15 years. No, it's women. What to do with the women? This was the issue 30, 40 years ago during what they call the conservative resurgence. Back when I was a Southern Baptist and I left over that, they're at it again. This year, the, the way they did it was to kick out of the convention two churches or to reaffirm the executive committee's decision to exclude some churches, one of them the Fern Creek Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky. I know this church. I know the pastor, Linda Barnes Popham. She's been there for 30 years as the pastor and a few years before that as a minister. I know her. I honor her. She's the kind of pastor more churches need. God bless her. And the other one was the famous church out on the West Coast, Rick Warren's famous Saddleback Church. By any measure, the most influential church, Southern Baptist Church in the world, Rick Warren, the most influential Southern Baptist pastor in the world, well, they ordained a few of their staff ministers a couple of years ago and then when Rick retired last year, the church called a couple, um, husband and wife, male and female team to be their pastor. Kicked them out. This is a real shame. This is a misunderstanding of the Bible and the gospel. This is white male superiority. I pastor a church. I am the fourth pastor in the history of the church and the first man. Fenwick. I better make sure you're a male or you won't get anywhere in life, right? No, I support the women. We all do. God bless you. God bless the church.